mDaemon can be configured to send mail directly to a recipient's mail server or through a smart host. Smart hosts can be configured globally or on a per-domain basis. You can access the delivery options via the Setup menu. Click on Server Settings, then click on Delivery in the left-hand navigation menu. This section must be configured depending on the type of architecture to be applied. For example, whether the sending of mail to remote accounts is to be carried out using an external ISP or whether the mail server should be independent and send the emails directly to the recipient's mail server. When the first option is chosen, mDaemon will attempt to deliver all mail directly instead of passing it to another host. mDaemon will place undeliverable messages into the retry queue and continue to attempt to deliver them according to the parameters and time intervals that you set on the retry queue screen of the mail queues dialog. To access this screen from mDaemon's menu bar, select Queues, Mail Queues, Retry Queue. Smart hosts can be configured on a per domain basis. When the second option is selected, all outbound mail, regardless of its destination domain, is sent to each domain's smart host for routed delivery. If no domain specific smart host is configured, then the default smart host will be used. Typically, this feature is useful during high volume periods when direct message delivery would result in excessive taxation of server resources. If a message cannot be delivered to the designated server, then it will be moved into the retry queue and mDaemon will continue to attempt to deliver it according to the parameters and time intervals that you set on the retry queue screen of the mail queues dialog. When the third option is selected, mDaemon will first attempt to deliver mail directly, and then if problems are encountered, mDaemon will deliver mail to the smart hosts. A default smart host will need to be entered before we can configure smart hosts on a per domain basis. Enter your default smart host in the blank provided. If a smart host is not configured for a domain, then this host will be used. In the section below, select the first checkbox if the host to which you will be sending messages requires authentication. Enter the required login credentials below. These login credentials will be used for all outbound SMTP messages sent to the server specified above. You can optionally check the box to allow per account authentication. When this option is enabled, the sender's optional smart host username and password will be used. You can assign smart host login credentials to an account by navigating to that account via the accounts menu. Select mail services, then enter the required username and password in the smart host access section. Be sure to apply any changes made on this screen. If the above server requires that you first check for new email before you will be allowed to send email through it, then check the box Perform a POP3 check and enter the host name or IP address, username and password for that server. Now that we've configured our default smart host, let's configure a smart host for each domain. We'll need to apply our changes here before we continue. After configuring our domain specific smart hosts, I'll come back to this screen and explain the remaining options. To configure a smart host for a specific domain, navigate to the Domain Manager screen via the Setup menu. Expand the menu for the domain that you'd like to update and then click on Smart Host. Check the box to configure a smart host for this domain. In the Smart Host field, specify your ISP or mail host's name or IP address. This is generally the SMTP server at your ISP but can be any other mail server that is willing to accept mail from your server. If you enter the host name in brackets, mDaemon will skip the MX record lookup and perform a DNS A record lookup on that domain name to determine the IP address that messages for this domain will be sent to. If brackets are not included, then mDaemon will perform an MX record lookup on that domain name to determine the host name of the mail server. You will learn more about MX and A records in the video on configuring DNS server queries within this A learning chapter. In the section below, select the first checkbox if the host to which you will be sending messages requires authentication. Enter the required login credentials below. These login credentials will be used for all outbound SMTP messages sent to the server specified above. You can also optionally enable per account authentication, in which case the account's optional smart host username and password will be used as we explained previously. Now let's apply our settings. We are now ready to go back to the server settings menu and configure the remaining delivery options. Now that we've configured a domain specific smart host, we can choose to send all outbound mail to each domain's smart host or send all email directly first and then to each domain's smart host if there are problems. The third option can be used if you want to spool only undeliverable outbound email to the smart host. Undeliverable mail is email destined for hosts that could not be resolved to an actual IP address, 
such as an unregistered gateway to a remote network, or email destined for a host that was resolved properly but could not be connected to directly or is refusing direct connections. Rather than return such mail to its originator, this option allows mDaemon to pass the message off to a more powerful mail transfer agent. Sometimes the mail system run by your ISP may have routed methods of mail delivery to which your local server may not have direct access. If a message cannot be delivered to the designated server, then it will be moved into the retry queue and mDaemon will continue to attempt to deliver it according to the parameters and time intervals that you set on the retry queue screen of the mail queues dialog. At each subsequent delivery attempt, mDaemon will again first try to deliver the message directly to its recipient and then to the designated domain or host. We'll now go over the remaining delivery options. If a receiving mail server receives an RCPT command for a recipient address that doesn't exist, it can be configured to send a permanent 500 series error to the sending server. Select Abort Delivery if SMTP RCPT command receives a 5xx error if you'd like mDaemon to abort its attempt to deliver a message when it receives a 500 series fatal error in response to the SMTP RCPT command. This option is disabled by default. Select Bounce Message if receiving domain has no MX records to cause mDaemon to immediately return the message when the DNS lookup shows that no MX records exist for the recipient's domain. This will prevent that sort of message from needlessly going into the delivery retry cycle. This option is enabled by default. However, if you have configured mDaemon to deliver outbound mail to a smart host, then this feature will be grayed out as shown here. When you enable the option to bounce message on 5xx error from any of the receiving domain's MX hosts, mDaemon will return or bounce the message when it receives a 500 series fatal error response from any MX host. When this box is checked, mDaemon will not continue trying to deliver the message to any subsequent MX hosts that may be designated for the recipient's domain. If this option is disabled, mDaemon won't bounce the message as long as at least one of the MX hosts returns a 400 series non-fatal error response. This option is enabled by default. mDaemon can also be configured to bounce the message when it receives a 500 series fatal error response from your smart hosts. Be sure to apply any changes made.